Good morning and welcome to the Rio Tequila Palmeira Hotel in lovely Marrakesh, Morocco. So during this video I'll take you on a whistle stop tour of the hotel and the grounds and I'll also be giving you some top tips and some best practices that if you're considering staying at the hotel you can make the most of your holiday and also at the same time looking to save you some money. So let's take you into the lobby and we'll start the tour. This is where you get dropped off by your coach from the airport. Transfer time is roughly about 30 minutes. Okay, so as you enter the lobby, you have the reception area over to the right hand side. We are checked in. There's an ATM which does charge a small commission but really handy to have that on site. This is the area where most people tend to chill in the evening, having a drink, playing cards. That's the main bar area over in the distance there. The shop is located over there in front of me. Opening hours are 9 to 12.30 and 3 till 7. It doesn't sell a great deal apart from some trinkets and some personal items of hygiene. So if you are thinking of wanting things like confectionery, things for children, etc then you're either going to have to bring those with you or buy them in the city and bring them back to the hotel. Talking of the city, the hotel does provide a free shuttle service. First pickup is 10 a.m. and the last transfer back is 10, sorry, 8.30 in the evening. Totally free, the journey takes about 15 minutes. Um, they run about every hour and a half or so throughout the day and obviously it will save you some um, money on taxis. A taxi to the city centre or the Medina is approximately 100 dirham and for the evening it's about 150. So we'll take you out now to the gym and the indoor pool which is in front of us. to get bearings. Over there is the um, main buffet restaurant and the Moroccan restaurant and also the buffet restaurant doubles up as the Italian restaurant in the evening because there is a separate restaurant for dinner. Okay let's go into the gym and indoor swimming pool. The indoor swimming pool is currently being decorated. Gives you an idea of what that actually looks like. The gym itself is open from 7am to 7pm and it is quite well appointed for a hotel gym. grounds as you can see are really lovely and really well maintained. You can see there that's the Moroccan restaurant and I will drop a video in here of what the breakfast and dinner offerings look like and also what it's like to eat in the Moroccan restaurant. Okay in a buffet restaurant and this is an example of the breakfast offerings. All your cereals, milk. Yeah, we do have salad. My husband just ate. We made that just for a long while. Various pastries and bread. And another toasting machine. Lots of donuts. Huh? Okay. 
finishing juice, station for your Moroccan tea, selection of various teas, this is where you get your hot water and your milk jugs to make your own tea in the morning. Tellers and peanut butter. And finally, a good selection of fresh fruit. So all in all, pretty good breakfast selection, which is served every morning from 7:30. Okay, so this is the evening restaurant. Give you an example of what the dinner offerings are. on the journey and I'll take you now to the pool area.
indoor and outdoor seating for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And the bar is open there from 5pm to 10.30. So that's a swimming pool area as you can see, it's like a half a square so to speak, shaped pool. Uh, depth, if you're interested for children, ranges from about two feet at the edge to about four and a half feet in the middle. You'll probably see in the distance there is like a shelf area around the middle which is about a foot deep if you want to have young children with you in the pool but it's not really I don't think designed for um, from children and at the end there there are a couple of ramps leading down into the pool if you've got any disabilities that's the pool bar and next to the pool bar is where you can exchange the cards you get on arrival for your towels during the day and the guys are quite happy to replace the towels as often as you want during the day it's one towel per card per person Over there is the children's uh, play area and the children's swimming pool. While I've been here though, I haven't seen that being used by any children to be honest with you. Let's take a closer look at that. Okay, children's pool area. As I say, I've not really seen that used since we've been here. I'll take you now through the grounds and um, you can see what the hotel rooms from the outside look like. With our wheel drop, um, a room tour of our hotel in at this point. Okay, quick tour of the room. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what our room looks like. The room is comfy, it's spacious, it does look a little bit tired if I'm honest, particularly uh, the bathroom. And I was talking to a gentleman who seems to come here quite regularly and he said the rooms were last refurbished about seven years ago. The hotel is lovely though, it's done in the Moroccan style. Um, two floors and it's done in the red brick, which is similar to um, the Medina in Marrakesh. I'll just take you and show you what the tennis courts and the basketball stroke five or so football actually look like. Okay, so basketball and five or so football court tennis courts over there and you can hire the equipment from the hotel over in front of me you can probably see the beach volleyball area and there's also an area there that you can play ball and they do again provide the equipment for that if that's your thing and that's what you want to do to break up um, days by the pool Okay, so that's the hotel, the grounds, the bedrooms, the restaurants, the food offering. So the big question, I guess, after all of that is, would I recommend for you to stay here again? So let's have a look at that by looking at the pros and cons and one that is a pro and a con that could be a deal breaker for some people. And that will then allow you to make your own mind up. So if we look first of all at the cons, I always like to finish on a high. First one I would say is the shop. Although it's great to have a shop on site, the offering in the shop is quite limited, apart from some trinkets and postcards and a few personal hygiene type things, there isn't very much else. So if you wanted things for the pool, for example, inflatable type things, or confectionery, that type of thing, or 
more extensive gifts to take back home then the shop isn't for you and you could either need to get that in Marrakesh or bring certain things with you so the shop would be number one these are no particular order by the way the second one would be food the food quality is excellent but if I look in comparison to other Ryu and Sensatory Blue type hotels myself and my wife have stayed at then the food does appear to be a little bit samey and the offering isn't as extensive as some of the places that I've stayed at for example the Akram Sorghum in Sea Day where I stayed last year the choice of food there was uh, uh, second to none really it was uh, absolutely superb drinks now drinks are plentiful as often as you want whether that be alcoholic or soft drinks the usual soft drinks on offer Sprite, Coke, Diet Coke, Fanta the beer's good they do offer cocktails I would say though to me the cocktails do appear to be a little bit watered down the cocktails are not as you would traditionally expect them to be done in a shaker they are elements of it are poured from the bottle and surprisingly it's really difficult to get anything to stir them with so you end up really struggling for the quality of your cocktail to me it wasn't a big issue because we're not big drinkers myself and my wife but if it's the cocktails is something you really look forward to then they might be a bit of a letdown for you I would add though that you can bring your own drinks containers a lot of people were bringing sort of plastic pint glass uh, receptacles or their own thermos flask to keep drinks cool the guys are happy to fill those up for you um, otherwise you will be served plastic beakers um, around the pool for obvious reasons and glass in the reception but don't be afraid to bring your own things with you if you want a bigger drink rather than having to go up more frequently um, the big thing for me I guess is although the hotel and the grounds are lovely our room could definitely do with a bit of a refresh and a repaint particularly the bathroom we spoke to somebody who stays here two or three times a year for the last 15 years because he comes here for the staff and for the weather and he said it was last refurbished in seven years ago so you may just need to bear that in mind um, whether or not that will be a big issue for you so that's really it I guess for the cons the pros there are many of them the first one it's only 30 minute transfer from the airport so you're really quick landing and getting to your resort which is great um, there is a shuttle bus as I mentioned earlier that runs to the Medina um, a number of times a day and up till 8.30 in the evening coming back and that will save you on taxi fares the taxi fares are 100 dirhams during the day backwards and then forwards to the Medina or 150 dirhams at night so you're going to save yourself some money on that one the hotel grounds as you can see are absolutely lovely and you can really while away the hours having a wander and a chill through these if you want to get away from the pool having an ATM on site is great you have to pay a small commission obviously to use it but it's great to have that option available to you the hotel is really disability friendly we've seen a number of people in mobility scooters or wheelchairs there are lots of ramps around the build around the property including around the pool area and there is no issues if you do suffer from a disability in accessing everything that you need to access um, within this hotel and the hotel grounds the staff are fantastic um, although I've tried not to touch very much on the earthquake that only happened this week um, and I've tried not to show too much damage so there wasn't a great deal of damage the main damage was to the restaurants um, which the staff have been brilliant fixing that aside the staff here are, are great they've got great attitudes they're really friendly they're hospitable they're really polite and can't do enough for you so the staff is a real is a real bonus uh, I mentioned on a con about the rooms being tired having said that the room and the bedrooms are really comfortable bed was lovely pillars were lovely and got a really good night's sleep every night there are also plenty of sun beds and towels you can exchange the towels throughout the day as often as you want to and there's never an issue with trying to find a sun bed and a, and a, and a parasol uh, to sit around from early morning till later on in the afternoon so they I would say are my my pros and cons 
The con, which could also be a pro, which may be a deal breaker for some people, is it's really quiet. As you can see here, it's mid-morning and there's not a lot of noise going on. So perhaps if you were looking for a more vibrant hotel with lots of stuff going on for the kids, etc, etc, then this may not be the hotel for you. But if you're looking for a getaway where you can just relax, chill out, eat nice food, drink as much as you want or as less as you want, sunbathe, etc, then this probably would be the hotel for you. So when I come back, if they refurbish the rooms, it would be a definite yes from me. So hopefully this overview has been of help to you. Please do um, leave me some comments below if it has. And can I ask you please, as a big favour, could you please like the video if you have enjoyed it? That's the only way that YouTube will get the algorithm out to other people for them to review the hotel overview as well for me. And if you would like to consider subscribing to my channel, then please do. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I just try to give some honest reviews of places that I stay at across the world. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been useful. Your feedback would be welcome. Any questions that you've got that I haven't covered, please feel free to ask and we'll speak soon. Thanks very much. Bye.